What up, viewers? Here we have Playtest IRL, who got first place at Domino City Gaming. Uh, so first place I played, uh, so um, I, I decided to play a deck uh, that nobody plays in uh, Tengu for some reason, and I think it's a really good deck, uh, but I found a tech that's, that breaks Karakuri, and I want to share it with you guys so that you guys can change the meta for me uh, without me having to play in competitive play. So uh, here's the list for you guys. Uh, so I play the three Nanishis. Uh, you, if you guys don't know what Nanishi does, uh, it's a normal summon that when you normal summon it, uh, and it doesn't get Veilered, uh, you get to normal summon another card courier from your hand. Uh, assuming it's a level 4 lore. Yeah, it has to be a level 4 lore. If you want to go play the level 5, uh, you would have to chippy summon uh, this, so you can't just normal summon anything for free, essentially. Uh, so, um... It doesn't activate, right? So you can't use priority it with that? It doesn't activate, uh, but it's it's still it's, it's a continuous effect. So you can Veiler this, and you won't be able to get the effect to Normal Summon. Gotcha. And since it doesn't activate, you don't have an option to use priority? Uh, priority it's just to Normal Summon again? Yeah, like that's not a thing, right? Because it's no, a continuous it's, effect. No, it's not. It's not. Okay. So uh, yeah, you, did, you definitely need her so that you can do power plays under when you're getting locked out by, like, uh, I don't know, Steel Storm Roach or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a that's, uh, thing that you can counter. But I just mainly use her to special summon her from the deck. Uh, so that I can normal summon again. That's usually how I use her most of the time. But other times, yeah, you can normal, normal summon her and normal summon a level 4 lower. And then Sacred Summon to Beret. Okay. So you definitely need her uh, in the deck. Uh, she's like basically what you want in the deck. My two of's, I play the uh, Strategist. Uh, a lot of plays with Strategist. Um, it procs all your Beretto to be able to draw two. It makes it so that you can uh, make a monster good defense position and you can attack it so you don't crash because you have to attack in the battle phase. So if you bring this out with a recruiter, then you can make a monster go to defense position and attack that defense position monster, take damage. And you'd rather take damage than to crash this monster to the monster. And then on the following turn, uh, if they attack him and you have a Beredo, it shows that it goes to defense position and you draw a card. Uh, I only play two because I don't want to hard open too many of these. I just want to uh, go into this with the, the line. Uh, but you want to have two in case you open up with one and so you can smash some one. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's important. Uh, I play two dogs. Uh, you, you have to play two dogs so that you can go double Beredo. Double Beredo allows you to draw more so that you could uh, uh, draw into your hand traps or your uh, normal traps. Or your counter play trap. Counter play. So you need two of this. Uh, there's a lot of good plays with this. I'll go into why I play two. Uh, I, I actually want to bump this. Maybe I want to bump this up to three. It just depends on the format. Uh, but yeah, you definitely uh, want to play uh, more than one because you want to bring out double Beredo. And these are all your tuners? Uh, I think so, yeah. That was all my tuners. Okay. Except for Valor. I play Valor. Uh, I play only two merchants. Um, so in this build, I don't play Genix Neutron. And the reason why I don't play Genix Neutron is because I don't want to waste my normal summon and then wait until the end phase just to search a tuner. And the tuner is okay, but I'd rather uh, play a better card than Genix Neutron. Uh, Genesis Neutron is a plus one, but you're wasting a turn to do nothing. Yeah. So that's my thought process. Uh, because if you synchro summon with Genesis Neutron, you don't get to search at the end phase. He has to be on the field at the end phase to search. That's why I don't play Genesis Neutron. And the level two is like Stratos, right? Uh, the level two is Stratos, but he has to declare an attack when you summon him. So uh, oftentimes, uh, I'll go into main, I'll go st through battle phase to go into main phase to summon this guy. That makes sense. Um, okay. This way, I don't um, I don't proc Gores, and I also get to search, and he doesn't have to attack. So just make sure that you can go through your battle phase, but you have to go through the battle phase and then go to your main phase two. You can't just go main phase one, main phase two. You have to go main phase one, battle phase, main phase two. And then normal summons. Okay. Yeah, that makes and sense. you can search. You play two of this so you can make an Atreya Beast. Uh, the Atreya Beast is really good in this deck. You can make it easy with her and this. Uh, you can normal summon this and make this and you go into Atreya Beast. But I never do that play unless I know for a fact I'm playing against a deck that plays a lot of spells. So uh, even though if I have these, I, I probably won't do it. Just yeah, that makes sense. Um, against Tengu Plant, or against Tengu Plant Synchro, um, they do have enemy control in their deck. They have Dark Hole, they have Book of Moon, they have Dark Hole, they have um, Monster Reborn. So that plays okay, but I'd rather make Naturi Beast after the end of my chain. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's all the reason there is for level two. There's no other reason. Uh, randomly, you could Synchro with these two to make Barkeon, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. Yeah, I feel like Varkion's kind of weak in this format, just because, like, Warning and Judgment are the main traps. Yeah. And it doesn't really stop that. And it's, like, 2,500 base, so Tour Guide can run it over. Yeah. Or trade with it. Um, so, the reason why I think this... Well, let me go into these guys. So, I play two Queeks. Um, Queek is really good. You only want to attack two. You don't want to uh, open up with this, because you want to special summon it and then attack over, uh, attack over a monster. So, opening up with this is kind of bad. 
so I don't play more than two. Uh, I want to fetch it with the uh, Beretta or Beret. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay, so the deck, the tech that I like in this deck breaks Car Curry. Let's hear it. Um, Let's see it. So before before I go into that, I, I play the three recruiters or six recruiters. Okay. Um, the recruiters allow me to break this card, and it's, I'll just show you. It's called Machina Armor Unit. Uh, this card says when a machine monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, the controller, I believe, or it has to be me. No, it has to be me. So I get to special summon a machine monster that has the same attribute and less attack. So mm. I could pair the recruiter engine where I can go um, giant rat, crash into a Tengu or a 2500 monster, mm -hmm. go into this guy, right? Then crash again, and then now I have a Seagok where it's like chain link one, chain link two, where I can make a Kuik. Uh, Kuik come out with uh, this. Um, How much attack is the recruiter? The recruiter is 1400. So if Machina Armory unit yeah. says you can summon something with less attack than Less it? attack, yes. How are you summoning Quick then? Uh, Quick is with his effect. Oh, gotcha, that makes so sense. So this okay. will crash, right? Chain one, chain two. Uh, chain two, you're gonna bring out the dog. That's what you want to do. Oh, so wow, so it's, a, it's a plus one, basically. Yeah, so if you're dealing with the Thunder King Ryo, this outs Thunder King Ryo. So mm -hmm. then from there, you're gonna go Quick. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you, remember, you saw the Machina Armor unit. Yeah. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna crash the, uh, the Saizan into uh, Thunder King Ryo. And it mm -hmm. says, if this card is in attack mode, uh, it cannot be destroyed by battle. So you attack, uh, he can't be destroyed by battle, you'll take damage. And then his effect is when he's battling, uh, he pumps up all card curries by 800 attack. Oh, which pairs with your yeah. quick. And so then you're gonna- makes my quick like... 2500 attack. Okay. Then you attack over a monster, and then from this, using this effect, you're gonna special summon the, uh, the Nis the Nisamu from the yeah. graveyard because you crashed them. All right? It has to be in defense position. Yeah, it has to be defense, because you don't want an attack because they have to attack. Yeah, so that makes sense. What, it, they, they made this guy balanced. Okay. Uh, otherwise it sucks. Okay, main phase two, this is the double burrito play. Mm -hmm. with, just, with just this and this, you made a double burrito play. So, oh, and I And you're see. able to deal with the Thunder King Ryo, so you can do a synchro plays. So now all you have to do is worry about warning, and then, mm -hmm. then if they don't have warning, well, because I play three MSTs, right, uh, yeah. spoil it for you guys. I play the three MSTs and I play the Heavy Storm, so mm -hmm. I don't have to deal with warning. I can just proactively hit it and then just do this play. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So from here, you're gonna synchro summon two level, uh, the two level uh, form, <laughs> yeah. full force. You're gonna make Beredo, uh -huh. Beredo effect. You're gonna get the second size in from the uh, the deck because that's why I play two. And then you okay. synchro summon these two, make another Beredo. And then Burrito's effect, you can bring out anybody. So here's mm -hmm. the cool play. If you have another level four monster in your hand, you can bring out this, right? And then normal summon that level uh, other monster, and they can make an Atreya piece here. Oh, I see. But I, I don't do that. Um, most of the time what I do is uh, uh, I, I get the uh, this guy. So I special summon in defense mode, and then mm -hmm. his effect is when he special summon or normal summon, he switches a battle position to any monster on the field. Gotcha. So you target itself, and this goes to attack mode, and then you draw two, right? Yep, from Double Burrito. So, the two cards you invested into this whole combo is now given back to you in net gain. So yeah. all this is free. That's crazy. Yeah, all That's this is free. That's insanely explosive. And if your opponent attacks this monster on their following turn, it shifts to defense position, and then you get to draw two more cards. Right? So there's your plus. And it just keeps spiraling. Yeah. Like it's Dark Hole or Bust, basically, for the opponent. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So okay. I think this deck's really good. So how often were you able to pull off that combo? Because that two-card combo uh, is insane. It's a really good two-card combo. Uh, every game. I want to say every game I did this. Uh, people will maxi you, so you have to play differently in under maxi. If they maxi you, you just go for the defensive option, basically. You don't go into this double... Unless you have OTK. If you mm -hmm. think you have OTK, then go for it, but I, I don't go. But even... Uh, what if, what about the rest of Gores? If, if, you, if, they, uh... if they have Gores, um, Burrito is bigger than Gores, and so uh, you're not going to proc a Gores at 2800 attack because you're doing the synchro play in main phase 2. Gotcha, okay, so that makes sense. So then from there, you can just deal with the monster coming out next turn. With Land okay. Voice, uh, whatever. Uh, my non, so that's the recruiter engine. I play mm -hmm. 6 recruiters and then this card. That's technically a recruiter as well. Um, I thought about playing, uh, just for you guys to know, um, I thought about playing another uh, monster. So this is an Earth Machine monster that's with 2,800 attack. Yeah. So if this gets destroyed by battle, which is very unlikely, but if in the event that it does by BLS, 
You can special summon Machina Fortress from your deck because this card says anything lower, uh, lower attack, same attribute. So you can okay. look at all your machine monsters. I haven't looked at all the machine monsters yet, but if Veredo dies in this, this can proc his ability to special summon. Does that work with card effect too? No, it has to be by battle. Okay. Oh, you can crash, I guess. Okay, so the other play is if you have double, um, I don't know if I know the double play, but if you have two of these and you crash your recruiter, oh, um, then you proc crazy. both their effects. Mm -hmm. So then you're bringing out three monsters and then it's going to be game over, essentially. Yeah. So that's why I play three copies of this. And that's like also a free trash too. Yeah, that's why I play three copies. This, this card breaks card curry. I honestly think it does. Yeah, um, that's insane. And I don't, I'm very surprised no one's thought of this, but this card is amazing. Uh, but that's why you guys have me, because I'm a very good deck builder. Right? Yeah, that is true. All right, cool. Um, so that's my spells. Uh, I mean, that was my combo video. Yeah. For the remainder spell, I play a 3 upstars consistency, because you want to see this combo. So that's why mm -hmm. I play 3. Uh, sometimes I won't use this effect if I can make a land voice, and I can just pitch the spell to uh, negate and destroy the uh, effect monster. That's why I play more spells. Uh, okay. So I play these spells and uh, I play the three MSTs. So it's a combo deck. You want to make sure that the your plays go through. Maxi, okay, well, make the make the defense play. I play the mind control because uh, I do have level fours in this deck, so I could overlay and make a Utopia or Steel Storm Roach, whatever. Um, and then I can also steal face down monsters too, uh, and overlay with that since I do also have level threes. But I don't have Leviathan Dragon in the best deck, so I can Sanker Summon. So maybe play Leviathan Dragon so that you can take a Dandelion or Sangan or whatever and overlay. I haven't really made space for it yet. Dark Hole, uh, you need this card to out the Thunder King Rhino so that um, you can just do your play uh, in the event that you don't have this combo. But you, we now know that this combo can beat Thunder King Rhino. My Traps, uh, I play two Veilers because uh, I can draw into it. I don't want to open up with too many because the idea is to draw them into them with this and then shut out my opponent. And then mm -hmm. the Solemn Brigade, because you have to play this in a Tengu Clan format. If you're not playing this, you're not playing a combo deck. You're playing a, uh, a different deck, I guess. And then I play Call of Haunted. Um, there was a turn where I played an Atreya piece, and I had a Call of Haunted set. Uh, and on my opponent's turn, he tried to make a Catastrophe and run over my uh, my Atreya piece. Uh, I just flipped the Call of Haunted, and then I can bring this out. And his effect lets me change any battle position. So I'll just shift the monster to defense position. Oh, that's crazy. So this has interruption, but it also is a combo card that allows you to uh, to play uh, the Sanker plays, essentially. So, okay. Yeah, uh, it's a combo card, but it's also a defensive card. So that's why I like it. I don't play two, even though Call of Haunted is at two in this format. Um, I just don't have deck space because I'm playing these. I'd rather play this than deck space. That makes sense. I think that was my main deck. Uh, let me check one more thing. No main deck, that's it? Oh, my other, um, I don't play, yeah. Uh, I, I, you guys already know, I, I'm not a fan of main decking Dashu because stun is a deck in, uh, stun is an archetype in uh, Tengu Plan. So they set four and they summon a monster, that Dashu is dead for the whole game. So okay. I side Dashu only for agents and any deck that likes to keep it big hand size. If I see that my opponent's playing Trigodia, I'll side Dashu. Because okay. Trigodia needs to have big hand size. Uh, you have to play Thunder King Ryo uh, in this format, so you can crash into other Thunder King Ryos, but also he's anti-BLS, anti-Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, he's just really good. Is this your side deck now? or is This you... is my main deck. Oh, you still my... Okay, This gotcha. is my other monsters. Okay. Um, yeah, so I play the two Thunder Kings. Uh, with Call of Haunted, you can revive this too. So you can negate something and then flip Call of Haunted and revive it back, so mm -hmm. they can't make another push. Or if they like, or if Sangan hits the grave, you can like call the Haunted the Thunder King back, right? Right. Uh, but sometimes in damage step you can't flip the Call of Haunted. Okay. Yeah. So it would have to be like Sangan goes to the graveyard by Synchro Summon, and then you mm -hmm. just chain this, and then yeah, I don't know how that would work. Yeah, yeah, you chain this, and then Sangan will be chained like one, and um, it will resolve chain, because yeah. of itself. Yeah. Uh, this is a card I side out often, but it's good against a lot of different matchups because we're in an XC format and in a synchro format. So this card can go be brought out by a Giant Rat if you need it. So because I'm playing Giant Rat, I can make scram mole. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. Yeah. If you're on Rat, might as well play mole. Yeah. Yeah, but I side it out often. And uh, the card that a lot of people don't like main decking is uh, Gores uh, in other decks. But Gores is, I, I believe, is like one of the best boss monsters you can play without investing too much resources. So if they try to heavy storm you and then you they lose you, you lose all your back row, Gors is gonna be the comeback card, essentially. That's why I play it. Uh, it also outs Thunder King Ryo too, so you can just attack over Thunder King Ryo. Okay. That's why I play it. Um, you need to play this if your deck relies on synchro summoning or whatever. You need to just play Gors. 
Uh, sometimes I synchro summon the token with Veiler, and then make a level 8 synchro, and then do plays. So if you open Gores, do you, um, and let's say your hand is shit, do you just like My hand will pass? never be shit. Oh, okay. Um, so it's just sort of like play a... recruiters. Recruiters make your hand less shit. I play six okay. recruiters. So okay. There's so... no way I, that I can draw. Even if I draw like this and this, mm -hmm. like I can search my recruiter and then search for, and then if this dies, I get to special summon a uh, anything lower, uh, lower attack, so you can bring out Nusamu. Gotcha. Okay. And then Nusamu, if she gets declared an attack, she starts a defense. Mission. She's a 1900 defense monster. So th this is there's no way you can. I'm a like I, I, I take into account that uh, if I brick, there's a way that I can basically. Okay. So maybe my main deck. You guys have the idea of it, um, but I'm gonna go into. This is what I won, by the way. I won a Hyunle for first place because they gave me twenty-five dollars store credit, and I used it to buy Hyunle, which nice. is expensive for no reason. Side deck, I played the two Maxi. I don't. I'm not again. Not a fan of main, main deck in Maxi because again, I can play against Stun, and this card is bad against Stun. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, stun is really good. Uh, people are sleeping on stun right now. Uh, I played two Black Inferno. I love this card to death. Um, I set against Tengu, I set against Agents. Any deck that just has to push, uh, make a synchro monster or make a big monster to win. Uh, this is uh, a lot of, in my game, my last round. Um, mm -hmm. I, I used up all my warning, but I had Blackhorn Heaven. My opponent didn't think I had a way to negate a uh, summon. So this is Blackhorn Heaven. I'm just negate a summon. Uh, it's really good with Thunder King Ryo because a lot of people will try to bait Thunder King by with a smaller monster. So you just go Black Horn and then they lose their Thunder King and then their first initial play is gone now because Thunder King will just negate the effect and this. I mean, they get the sun. Yeah. So this Thunder King is really Black good. Black Horn's crazy. It's also really good against Agents, right? That's Yeah, that's, that's why I cited against Agents. Yeah. Um, so Tengu has to make a synchro play, otherwise they can't win the game. It's my, it's my philosophy. So definitely side deck it. Um, but it's bad against stun, that's why I said it. Mm -hmm. uh, I play two Cyber Dragon uh, against Hero Beat, but also against Car Curry. Uh, uh, against Car Curry, the mirror match, you could uh, special summon this and then contact Vision all your machine monsters. Uh, that's why I play it. Seems good in the mirror? Okay. It's good in the mirror. Uh, I'm really afraid of stun, so I play three decree. Uh, yep. You need three decrees because stun is insane. Um, I don't know why people are not afraid of stun. I respect stun too much, that's why I have three decrees in the center. Uh, to beat the Horn of the Phantom Beast, I have the two lands, uh, or any deck that just uses damage step tricks. Uh, I'll use lands too, like Hero, uh, Hero Beat, I'll side this in. So that, because they only have one Honest, and because they have one Honest, uh, damage step tricks are really good uh, with, uh, against, um, against Hero Beat. I only said one Iron Wall. Uh, Iron Wall is still my favorite uh, Floodgate against uh, Agents, and I only side this for Agents, so uh, the idea is just to side these three against Hyperion. Uh, if you side this against... Um, uh, agents, they can't make Hyperion, they can't make BLS. If they play Sorcerer, they can't make that. They can't use Hyperion's effect to blow something up. Uh, if they tribute summon for Hyperion, they can't use anything in the effect. So I, I love this card with the Naturia Beast. If you can back this with the Naturia Beast, you're winning the game. Uh, granted, Tour Guide into Leviathan Dragon can run over uh, Naturia Beast, so you'll have to find a way to out the Tour Guide, like Baylor or something. Uh, this is a tech, but I side deck this one because I want to make the Trey Beast. Other than that, I don't want to. Uh, if, if the matchup is where I need to have the Trey Beast against them more, uh, I side deck the third one. That's why I side deck. Uh, and then I side the Chimera Tech Fortress. I don't main deck it because uh, 15 is already it's already locked. So that's my side deck. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, actually, and a Dushu, right? And oh, again, yeah, I don't I don't main deck Dushu because I can, I can play against Stun going second, and mm -hmm. this card is dead. Okay, so what about uh, Valor though? Is Valor de dead against Stun too? Like against TG Stun and Hero, as I always found Valor's kind of bad. Uh, Valor hits different cards in Stun matchup. Um, it would hit like uh, Wonder Magician, that's another one. Uh, but Valor is also a tuner, uh, where Maxi is not, uh, or Dust is not. So uh, Valor's so more versatile. Yeah, it's more versatile because you can normal summon it and then synchro summon it. Okay. So Valor, I, I love Valor in the main deck for that reason. If it wasn't a tuner, I would not main deck it. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. But it is a tuner. So that's my side deck, um, my, my extra deck. I play the two Beretta, if you guys already know that. I only play two, I don't play any more than that because you don't need any more. Uh, two Beret, uh, same reason. You're only gonna make the, the play once and then you're gonna win the game. That's essentially what the philosophy is. I thought about playing Avarice just because uh, I play such a low monster, uh, card curry count, uh, but I, I, haven't, I haven't missed the, uh, the third Beretta or the third Beret. Um, 
For those of you guys who don't know, Beret has an effect where it can shift the battle position of a monster. It doesn't have to be face up, so you can make a face down monster face up in attack position, and they can attack it. So uh, this came in clutch, uh, attacking a Dandelion token, so I can do 2600 points of damage directly. Nice. Uh, yeah, you have the Neturia lineup. Uh, you have the uh, Beast and the Barkeon and the Landois. You can make Landois uh, if you think that the spell is not enough. Uh, just make Landois. Uh, Scrap Dragon. Um, these are the ones I didn't make today. Uh, so I made these, but I didn't make these at all. Uh, but okay. you, in theory, you can make this with uh, Mind Control and Tengu or Thunder King, whatever. And mm -hmm. then Trishula. I don't know how you can make Trishula. I think it's um, the uh, Merchant, which is level 2. The Beret. Not Beret. Um, Komachi is the level 3 that lets you normal summon again. Mm -hmm. So if you have uh, Merchant, Komachi, and the level 4, you can make Trishula. Okay. I hardly ever make Trishula. Uh, I lied. I also made Bridal. I made Bridal bounce back a single monster, but that's whatever. Okay. But uh, these don't matter too much. I guess these are flex spots. Stardust. I, I don't think Stardust is a uh, is that good of a card in um, in Tengu Plant just because of um, because of Tengu uh, because of Torgai. Torgai, yeah, because of the so they'll crash. just crash and then whatever. You just wasted okay. your whole thing. So yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll sometimes make Stardust, but I haven't made it at all in this tournament. So yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, before I end this video, um, there are plays with Teach Your Hyperlay variant. You can actually have this out and then do your synchro play. And then this makes it so that you're drawing a ton, a shit ton of cards. I haven't oh, been able damn. to pull that off, but you could definitely do it. Sweet. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is my card curry build. I got first place with it at Domino City Gaming. Uh, definitely, if you guys are near the area, uh, definitely show up for this. They're doing Tengu Plant every Thursday at 7 p.m. Uh, you'll, so you'll see me there more often because it's closer to me. Uh, I don't have to drive all the way to Orange County to play this game, uh, this format anymore. So definitely show it up. And uh, if you guys want to meet me in person, I'll see you guys there. Yeah, and it's a good turnout too. Peace. Yeah, good turnout. We had uh, 15 players, by the way. So uh, I expect that number to be uh, relatively the same throughout their uh, history. But yeah, uh, peace out. And thank you, thank you guys for watching this video.